Hi guys, as you uh, may or may not have noticed from the thumbnail, I'm going a little bit backwards. Um, after opening my first pop out of the box um, the other week on the last video, um, and then speaking to my brother who also collects pops, uh, mainly sort of World of Warcraft ones to be fair, um, he has all of his out of the boxes. Um, and he made a point of everyone sort of keeps them in the boxes so they're never going to be a collector's item so why not just enjoy them so that's what i'm going to do um it's going to go from villains to secret wars to ant-man to hulkbuster which i'm looking forward to because i'm not actually seeing them out of the box yet so we're going to start with the uh little pocket pop keychain which oh that's quite sweet i might actually use that just sort of jiggles about a little bit i'm going to keep all the boxes though and um, all they'll do is they'll go into uh, a large heavy duty box in the loft um just so that if and when i do move house which hopefully be in the next couple of years um i can sort of transport them all safely which is the main thing. All right, so Venom can bugger off. All right, we've got Morbius, who I was pissed off about that there's two different versions. Obviously you've got Morbius and Zombie Morbius, 104 and 105. I got 104. I think for now, not that my other half knows, um, these are probably going to go in a display unit in the uh, in our bedroom. There he is, Morbius. Angry Morbius. I like the hands, actually. Is it bad? That's probably my favourite part of the pop. You've got the, uh, sort of the, the long claws. Apart from that, it's still a bit meh with that one. Especially now that I've seen a picture of a bloody Green Goblin, which I think is an exclusive somewhere. Um, I think the people I saw it from, I think they were in America. Um, but you never know. Next we have Thor and Secret Wars. It's nice detail actually. Bit of a scratch on the, the back of the hair there. I'm just looking forward to getting Hulkbuster out. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, that's number 97. Thor Secret Wars. Next we have number 98, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Box can go over there. Which Spider-Man did not appear in the most recent uh, Civil War trailer, which I, I hope that they don't show him at all. Um, I hope it's purely in the film. Um, that's what I prefer anyway. So we we don't get to see him suited up, nothing. He's purely a surprise in the film. Cool, that's looking at I don't know if the camera's picking it up too well. But even so, uh, I'm a Peter Parker guy myself, so I'm not too, too bothered about that. So he can go over there. Next we have Ant-Man, which also has the world's smallest bobblehead, which is quite a nice idea. Let's get a little Ant-Man out first. You say bubble, 
It's more of a twisty bubble damage bubble. No, he's cool. And unmasked Ant Man. I don't remember Paul Rudd's hair being that perfect, if I'm honest. Good looking bloke, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, his hair was not that perfect. And she gave him a black eye or something as well. All right, now on to the one that I'm looking forward to. stretch I know in uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy box it's a lot it's a lot bigger um that's potentially going to be a hoodie um most likely going to be two pops which is going to be Drew and Rocket uh, Raccoon I was hoping for another a big pop um sort of end of year on a proper high Jesus oh man that is awesome Sort of, yeah, it does sort of bubble. It was a little bit stuck there. It's so heavy. I don't know if that's nothing that was shoddy paintwork. I don't know if that was battle damage. But no, just there. Oh. Nothing in the case. Well, from the front, it looks good. It looks like glue, actually. It has sort of ruined the pop. But from the front, it does look good. See, now that I've got them all out, I'm more interested in just him. I might put the others back in the box. I don't know what to do. Ugh. See, I'm a massive Iron Man fan. Uh, fan? Iron Man fan. Um, ever since that first movie come out, um, I used to watch it on and off as a kid. Um, but ever since that first movie come out, I'll, that's it. Um, Iron Man was the man for me. So I don't know whether just to, to, to go out and collect and display Iron Man pops. Um, the only thing is, I think there's a bloody lot of them. I don't know, not decided. Oh well, it gave me something to do anyway. Um, so until the next one, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.